This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make a dish for you that um, where I'm going to use my instant pot and part of it. Um, I've here's my pan, my um, pan for the instant pot, and then I've got this steamer basket, and it's going to go right in the middle of this, and I've got to put a cup of water in here. And I've got, let's see, you can see four yellow, 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 four yellow squash and two zucchini squash. And I'm going to cut these up, put them into the steamer basket along with, I've got a little bowl of onions that were chopped up and then I'm going to chop up another onion you can see the size of it I'd say that's between a medium and a large onion and I'm gonna put this in my instant pot but let me get all this cut up and I'll bring you back okay I'm back I just wanted to show y'all how I'm putting this in the pot it's no it's no certain way that you have to do it but I'm just kind of picky like that and so I've got that bowl of onions in the very bottom and then I've got the one zucchini on top of that and then I've got two of the yellow um, squash on top of that so now what I'm going to put is I'm going to take some salt kosher salt I'm using the kosher salt and just put some salt on top of these and spill it everywhere I'd say probably two teaspoons of kosher salt on top of these and then now I'm going to put the onion then the zucchini and then the yellow squash and more salt and I'll bring you back when I get ready to um, start the started in the pressure cooker okay all right you can see that it's pretty well filled up I've got the one cup of water in the bottom I've got this on ceiling right in the middle I'm going to put the lid on lock it and then let me get you back down here all right all right and I'm going to hit manual and I want it to go three minutes I don't know, I'm going to go four minutes because I like mine kind of mushy. <laughs> and I'm going to let this go for four minutes. And then I'm going to, um, once it comes down from pressure, I'm going to let it go for four minutes. And then I'm going to get the pressure off and I'll bring you back then. All right, let's get back to this squash casserole now. All right, so I've gotten my squash out of the... Um, instant pot it cooked for what was it three minutes four minutes mm. for me it's just the right consistency I like my squash really mushy all right so we're gonna sit this pan over here to the side so you can see there's the squash and the onions and it was drained it was drained for probably 15 minutes all right now let me see if I can move this back so you can see better all right I have got two eggs two large eggs that I'm going to put in this bowl all right there's one and where's the other one oh I'm <laughs> rolling against the bowl all right here's the second egg All right, and then I'm going to put a half a cup of mayonnaise. I've got my half a cup right here. A half a cup of, I use Dukes. Um, my daughter uses Hellman's. I used to use Kraft, but I couldn't go back to that now for anything. I don't think, I just, now, I mean, when I think about the Dukes and the Hellman's, <laughs> Kraft just doesn't compare. All right, so 
there's the half a cup of mayonnaise. All right. That's going in here. Scrape it all out. Get all that goodness out. Alright, and then I've got, whoops, a can of, one can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to put that in here. I make a mess as I always do. Y'all will remember me for being such a messy cook. But it sure is good when I finish with it. May have to clean up a little bit, but the dishes that I make have all been good, that's for sure. I've been blessed. <laughs> all right, let me put the top back on there and get the milk over here. And open it because it, well... All right, and I'm going to put uh, probably three-fourths of a cup. I'm just going to use this to measure. All right, there's half of a cup, and here's half of a half. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put the eggs. All right, I'm going to put in, uh, I don't know, just uh, as much cheese as you want in this. I would say a good cup of, I'm using shredded mild cheddar. Some people use sharp. Um, and all right, and let me get this blended together here. And I put white meat, salt, and pepper in the squash when I cooked it. There's this all mixed up. And I'm so now I'm gonna pour this <clears throat> over this squash. Let me back you up so you can see some. Alright, so I'm gonna mix this all over. smear it all over it so it goes down inside it. I think this is going to be so good. This is kind of my own recipe, which is what I do with a lot of things. All right, now I've got Ritz crackers. I've got the hint of salt Ritz crackers. I'm going to get out two sleeves of those because the Ritz crackers are kind of small and I'm gonna crush them and hope I can crush them in here yep all right let me get uh, 
All right, I'll bring right back. I gotta get some scissors. Okay, so I got the scissors and I'm putting one sleeve on here. The girl upstairs and baby's crying, so if y'all hear a baby crying, it's not mine. All right. On there, get another one, crush it half of it, and then I'll open it and crush the other half. Oh. Oh, this is going to be so good. I, you could use, I think, any kind of cream, cream soup with this. Um, I think the cream of mushroom just sounded good, but I've seen people use cream of chicken, um, cream of celery, any cream soup I would think that you probably could use. I think that's really quite enough there. That's one and a half sleeves of Ritz crackers that I've put on there. And now I'm going to put some Let's see, I think I'm going to put a little bit more of the cheddar on the, on the top. Not very much on because I'm going to also put Parmesan, the Kraft Parmesan cheese on here too. And I was going to put some slices of pepper jack, but I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe next time I will. All right, so there is the cheddar. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan. Just the, like I said, the Kraft Parmesan cheese. They have Parmesan and Romano, Romano cheese too, but I just really like the parmesan the best all right so that's on top of that and now i've melted one stick of butter and this is butter it isn't um margarine it is butter and i'm just going to i think a half a stick of butter probably would have been enough for this but I've got my oven preheated to 350. And you know what I think I'm going to do? That other half of the crackers, I think this butter, that one stick of butter for this pan was enough. So I think with this other half sleeve of Ritz crackers, I'm just going to put them on the top and so they'll be crispy and it'll give it something some crispiness to the to them when the bottom ones will be I'll they'll melt down into the squash all right so And I'm going to cook this for probably um, 30 to 35 minutes, maybe even longer. It just, my stove is weird, so I don't know how it'll, just, I would say until all this cheese in here melts and it's bubbling and these crackers on the top are a brown color. So, like I said, my oven is going in a 350 degree oven for at least... 30 minutes so I'll bring you back okay here is the squash casserole and it stayed in my oven for a lot longer than it should have and it's not near as um, 
I was talking to Stephanie and just completely forgot all about it. Um, but anyway, it stayed in there for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and it probably shouldn't have stayed in there. Maybe 45 minutes. I checked it after 30 minutes. And it was getting a little brown. But not like it should be. So, but this is kind of, it's. it looks good on the top. But it is drier inside that I than I would like it would have liked it to be but I'm gonna taste it now and we're gonna see what this tastes like I hope it's cooled off enough you can see I've got the zucchini and yellow squash in here I want to taste some of the crackers with it too they're really mm -mm. smells good Mmm. 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 It's hot. It's still hot. But it is so good. I definitely like it with the cream of mushroom soup in it. Mmm. And I, you know, I might have liked it if I had put that pepper jack cheese on here, too. Mmm. It's still really really good and the recipe will be um, down in the description box below mm -mm -mm. Mm. all right if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel look below for um, links to my Facebook my Twitter and also, there'll be links to different things that I use in my kitchen and with canning and um, so on like that. And so, I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.